Hi, I'm Dan Waters and I grow mushrooms at home. You can see my fruiting chamber and my preconditioning chamber in the background here. I'm going to talk you through the preconditioning chamber today uh, and how that's being constructed. If you don't know anything about me, I work full time in the construction industry. I'm also a published author. Feel free to download my book. It's a uh, fiction novel. It's not about mushrooms, but it, this video is about mushrooms today. So the preconditioning chamber, which you see in the background here, uh, I'll take you through this quickly. I'm going to turn the camera around in a second, but basically you can see here it's made of a an old chest freezer. Okay, on top of the chest freezer, a little bit of an extension piece I've put on here, and there's a whole bit of pipe pipe work inside, and I'll take you through all that now. So I'll turn the camera around if I can do this. I don't know if I can. No idea. We'll work that out on a later video. So let's do this this way so this is the preconditioning chamber here okay so inside you can see i've got a uh, a tote um plastic uh plastic container here um that holds about a week's worth of water in there uh, inside that plastic container is some uh, are some humidifiers i've got three ultrasonic humidifiers down there you can see them through the lid just okay so i've got three of those in there and that produces more than enough humidity for my uh for my fruiting chamber all right, so also in here we've got uh, we've got a fan. I'll turn this around so you can see that. That's a fan on the end of um, end of this PVC tube. That fan draws air. It's an extraction fan. Draws air in through this tube, pushes it into the uh, the humidifying tub, and then pushes the air out of this pipe into the fruiting chamber. Okay. Um, and then uh, also at this end, I've got a, an air conditioner that's been plugged into when i say plugged i mean butchered and cut out uh the end of this um this uh, it's the end of the day i'm losing my words um the uh the chest freezer so i've cut out the end of this chest freezer here okay you can see this is the air conditioner here okay i can't get back far enough to show you but you can see it's it's been cut out the back there i've sealed around it as best as i can and um, and that's that's just a window mounted air conditioner that I've plugged into the side of the uh, the the um, the chest freezer here. All right, so you got the uh, you got the air conditioner. We've got a whole bunch of uh, electrics in here as well. Okay, we've got the air conditioner electronics for the ultrasonic humidifier. I've got the uh, the fan. Okay, the fan as well for the uh, for the to push the air through. This fan also. Um, it creates a negative pressure in this chest freezer that also draws air through this this pipe here. So this is the air intake. So we've got fresh air coming in here. Okay, and then it gets uh, gets pulled through the fan into the into the humidifying tub. So the humidity is separate from all the electrics. All right, that's the main point I want to um, point out here. So the humidification is separate. That way we don't. Yeah, you know, have all the moisture going into the electrics and it doesn't short it all out. So that's that's what I've done there. It also keeps the um, the air conditioner out of the fruiting chamber so that you don't get all spores and stuff in the uh, in the air conditioner. Okay, so so that air then gets uh, gets taken. The the uh, preconditioned air is then so it's so it's it's conditioned to the right temperature and and a certain level of humidity, just a high level of humidity. Uh, then that gets pushed into the into the fruiting chamber. Now the next stage that I've got with this this whole setup is um, I'll basically the the preconditioning chamber just needs a clean out, so that's no no biggie. Um, and then uh, what I'm going to do with the the fridge here is what I've found is that the humidity that I've been pumping in the here has been too high for the mushroom, so they've been in, been getting really wet. Um, so I'm going to put in some sensors. I've got a uh, Raspberry Pi that I'm going to add to the system here. The other thing is with these doors, I've found because I've co covered these doors in insulation, there's no light getting in here apart from this, this little window up the top here. So there's no light getting in. And so the mushrooms are quite leggy, leggy and very white as well. So what I need to do is get some lighting in there. So I've got this LED strip here. Okay, so that's, I'm just going to, again, this is just a bit of a butcher's job. But I'm gonna I'm gonna thread this um, through the the face of this insulation so it'll be it'll it'll show in the back of this door here it'll the light the LED strip will come down through the back here it'll it'll go over this little bar here and then back in under 
under here and, and so forth. So I'm going to thread it in just so we get some, some light in there. Um, I'm going to run it at, um, uh, it's going to be kind of like a purple or bluish purple light. Apparently that's the best light for, um, for uh, triggering growth and also just growing mushrooms in general. So I'm going to add the uh, the lighting in here. In here, I'm going to have a uh, a, a hu um, humid humidity uh, sensor, um, and then I'm also going to add at some stage I'm going to add a CO2 sensor, and that's further on down the track because that's another um, two hundred odd dollars uh, to add. So I'm just going to I know I've had a problem with my my humidity, so I'm going to add that in. The other two appliances I'm going to add in as well is a fan on the side. I'm going to mount this on the side here uh, where all the pipe work is. Um, and that's just for air circulation. I'm going to have the motor outside and then a, a bit of threaded rod pushing through the, the wall of the fridge with a fan blade on the inside. So again, that is separating the motor from the humidity. I've had a fan in here before and it's shorted within 24 hours. So um, definitely keeping those electrical uh, appliances um, separate from the humidity is really important if you want them to last any period of time. And the second appliance I'm going to uh, have plugged in here is an extraction fan. I think I'm still getting some some high CO2 in here, and and I'll only know that when I get a uh, a um, device that measures CO2. But the idea is that um, the the fan in the the fan inside the preconditioning chamber, the amount of air that that pushes through is more than enough to create the FAE cycles required for the space that I have. It's not a big fridge, you know, this is a double door, um, double door drinks fridge, okay? And it's only, it's only small in there, like you're probably talking about not even two cubic meters of, of air. So that fan, that little fan does enough air exchange, but I think it's a distribution of air inside here that's the problem, distribution of fresh air. And so a fan on the side of the, the fridge is gonna help with that distribution of air, push it around, get it into all the, uh, the different areas, the front, the back, all that sort of thing. That's the idea anyway. Um, and it's a real um, butcher job on the fan as well. So, you know, it's just whatever's cheap, whatever's to hand that I'm doing this with. Um, something that's cost me a little bit more money is going to be the extraction fan. Um, and some people have been curious about this. So, uh, again, in my, um, in my endeavor to separate uh, the muck and the moisture, from the electronics, what we've got here um, looks really weird. Probably like a, a bit of an upside down, down bong, really, if you if you know about those sort of things. Okay, so what it is is it's a uh, venturi pump. All right, so uh, you've got what this is just a blower that you type of blower that you find on jumping castles. So it pushes a high volume of air through uh, through the, the the main pipe here and what that causes there's another bit that goes on top here it causes a, a, a suction to happen here so there's no moving parts through this pipe all right so fresh air is coming th forced through this pipe and then then you can have it suck in it draws in dirty air and then that dirty air mixes with the clean air but this is all exhaust right so that dirty air that's been drawn out of the fridge just gets sucked in and and then um, expelled through the exhaust, right? And then this this will basically basically it will turn on whenever the CO two is high or at regular intervals. Okay, so so that's the little setup I've got. I've got to plug that in so that that little this little bit here off to the, the side that will create the suction uh, that'll get plugged into the uh, one of these exhaust ports. So this is coming out of the bottom of the fridge. At the moment, it's the fridge is positively pressurized, so it's pushing air up in here. Um, I don't think the exhaust is big enough. Um, and what I'll do is to, to increase, it's big enough to get air through and I can feel the airflow coming out at the top, particularly when it's hot outside and cold air is coming through. Um, but uh, again, just to increase the airflow coming out of the fridge, I'll, I'll attach that extraction fan to this pipe. And that's the so that's the second appliance. So I've got I've got a bit of work to do, and um, hopefully I can get this working to a point where I can regularly grow uh, mushrooms every week. Uh, say about you know one hundred two hundred dollars worth of mushrooms a week, and um, then I've got another fridge that I can uh, I can then do the same thing with. So uh, hang in there, keep looking out for the videos, and um, we'll see where this goes. Thanks.